Hey guys. Um, okay, so we are going to be finishing up the review of the unit and um, we are going to be uh, going to page 57 of our student book and we are going to go ahead and finish up the unit. The next uh, lesson we're actually going to also finish up the homework assignments. So this lesson we're going to go ahead and finish up the unit and then we're going to go over the homework assignment in the next unit. Actually we might start going over the homework assignment in this unit as well. Okay so let's start with page 57 of um, unit four. So we're going to be on page 57. And if you have your CDs, you know, you can go ahead and play your tracks. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and read through each of these with you guys. Um, pronunciation is really important. Uh, of course, you know, we do our pronunciation with our uh, alphabet and with our numbers, um, but we are going to go over the pronunciation of these words and I'm actually going to make it so that you guys can see me pronouncing each word and mostly we're going to talk though about the syllables and how many syllables are in a word, when to know, when to stress a syllable and so forth. Okay, we have strong syllables and we have weaker syllables in a word and we are going to talk about that. So let's go ahead and move forward. So when we look at uh, the words, I want to, let me come back here. We have happy and we have fever. Okay, happy fever. And I want you to pay attention the little dot right here, because this little dot lets you know which part of the word has a strong syllable. The strong syllable is on this part, happy. You know, you'd say this part a little bit stronger, happy, happy, fever, fever, right? So we're going to go over these words and we're going to go over the pronunciation of these words and then we're going to talk about where the strong syllables are in some of the words. And I'm going to show you how to figure out where the strong syllables are by looking in the dictionary. Okay. So first I want you to repeat after me. Um, this word happy has two syllables, happy, happy, right? This word fever has two syllables, fever, fever, okay? So now we're going to look at words that are only one syllable, one syllable. So listen and repeat. In your book, it tells you to clap for each syllable. You know, when you're at home, if you want to clap, fine. If you don't want to clap, okay. Um, you know, for instance, if you said happy, happy. Fever, fever. Clap if you want to, but you don't have to clap. So let's look at some one syllable words. Sun. Just repeat after me, sun, sun, wife, wife, head, head, ear, ear, foot, foot, Leg, leg, 
Okay, great. Now let's look at some two-syllable words. We'll start here. Cooking. Cooking. Homework. Homework. Toothache. Toothache. That's two syllables. Toothache. Headache. Headache. Husband. Husband. Daughter. Daughter. Now, the way I said that just now, I stressed, you know, the syllables daughter, but we don't say it like that. We say daughter. 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 Okay. So these are two syllable words. Now let's look at some three syllable words. <clears throat> First, I'm going to just say the word the normal way we say it, and then we'll count the syllables. So the first word, yesterday, 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 yesterday. Grandmother, 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 grandmother. Grandfather, grandfather, grandfather. Grandfather. Newspaper. 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 Studying. 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 Stomachache. Stomach ache, stomach ache, stomach ache. Okay, so those are some three syllable words. Now let's look at some four syllable words. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Wait, that's a three syllable word. <laughs> How did that get there as a four syllable? Ah, you know what? I'm sorry. It's a three syllable word. They're just showing the stress is in a different place. So with these three syllable words, the strong accent or the strong sound is on the first part. Yesterday. Yes, today. This is a three syllable word where the strong part is in the middle. Tomorrow, 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 okay? Same thing here. Computer, computer. So the strong part is in the middle. So those are also three syllable words. We have tomorrow, tomorrow, computer, computer. All right. So let's go back to our book here for a moment. And we're going to go through this list of words right here. Okay, so we have father, earache, tired, birthday, thirsty, Celebrate, finger, Brazil, repeat, elbow, reschedule, shoulder. Okay, so these are words with more than one syllable. I believe they all have more than one syllable. 
So what it wants you to do in this section, if we come down to section D, so section C was just listening. In section D, section C, I'm sorry, is listening. And then they want you to put a dot over the strong syllable of each word. They want you to put a dot over the strong syllable of each word. So for instance, father, the strong part of the word is this part right here, fa, fa. Now, we're going to go through each of these, and I'm going to tell you where the strong syllable goes. And then I'm going to show you how to look it up in the dictionary for the next time you see a word and you don't know where the strong syllable goes, okay? So this is, let's see, exercise C. And for the first one, father, the strong syllable goes over F-A. The strong syllable goes over F-A. All right. The next word, earache. Earache. The strong syllable will go over ear. Earache. Number three, tired. The strong syllable will come over T-I, tired. Birthday. Birthday. The strong syllable will come over birth. Thirsty, thirsty. The strong syllable would come over thir. Celebrate, celebrate. The strong syllable would come over cell. Finger, finger. The strong syllable would come over fing. Brazil. Brazil. The strong syllable, I think, will come over zil, because it's Brazil. Brazil. So the strong syllable would come over zil. Now, this word is interesting, because you can pronounce it more than one way. You can say repeat. You can say repeat. Those are the two ways you say it. Repeat or repeat. So if you say repeat, then of course the strong syllable will be on peat. Elbow, elbow, the strong syllable is on L. Reschedule, reschedule, the strong syllable would be in the middle on sked, reschedule. Shoulder, Shoulder, the strong syllable would be on shoulder, on show, sorry, <laughs> on this part, show. Now, let's look in the dictionary. And let's look at this first word, for instance, father. So if you go to dictionary.com online, or if you're looking in the dictionary in a in a physical book, in a physical dictionary. You see how they have father. This is the pronunciation spelling. So here we have the correct spelling, and then here we have the pronunciation spelling. But the, the part that's the strong syllable will be in bold. Fa, fa, father, father. We listen. Father, father. Okay. So the good thing is when you go online to the dictionary, dictionary.com, you can hear father, the pronunciation, and you can also see where the strong syllable is in the word. 
Okay. Another word we can look at is reschedule. Reschedule. So you can hear reschedule the pronunciation. And then you see in bold they have the sketch reschedule. Reschedule. So you can see the strong pronunciation. Um, so if you go to dictionary.com, the same thing. Let's see, I think I was looking at Brazil. And I said in Brazil, the zil part is the strong. Syllable. So you can see that here. Brazil. Brazil. Zil is the strong part of the syllable. Brazil. Brazil. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Let's look at celebrate. And you can just do this on your own. Again, go to dictionary.com. I don't know why I'm pointing with my finger. <laughs> go to dictionary.com and you can just type in your word. And then you wait for your word to come up like we just did. And you can see here, cell, the first part, cell, is our strong syllable. Celebrate. 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 Okay. Celebrate. The great thing is you also get a definition of the word, right? You get the part of speech. And you get the def many definitions. Sometimes you have one definition, but it's rare. You mostly have multiple definitions of the word. Okay, so that's it for the pronunciation. Um, if we come back to our <clears throat> book here, it wants you to write eight words, exercise D. Write eight words from units three and four. Put a dot over the strong syllable in each word. So go through units three and four. Find eight words that you can go through and write them down and then put a strong syllable over each word. So that's going to do it for the review um, of units three and four. And like I said, I want you guys to go over pages 48 to 53 for the homework. And we're actually going to take care of that in the next lesson. Okie doke. So um, that's it for this lesson. I'll see you guys the next one. Don't forget to do your homework and leave comments in the, in the comment section on the YouTube video. Bye.